Hey everyone, I'm Daniel Nure and you're watching part number four in the Build With Me series where we put together the 3D printed OpenRC F1 car. This episode is all about the steering and this little thing, the servo saver. Let's get started. So this is what the steering looks like once in place and assembled in the car. The steering is connected to the servo with a servo saver and a aluminium 1.5 millimeter aluminium rod. Initially there was a direct connection between the wheels, steering and the servo uh, which resulted in if you had a crash, if you would drive into a curb or something and enough force was applied to the wheel it would just push on through the steering and uh, rip the gears right off the servo. So to solve this I had to figure out a way to do some sort of simplified servo saver um, a real servo saver if you may uh, would uh, be more complicated and uh, consists of springs and other things but I wanted to make a simple solution uh, and this is it uh, so the idea is that the upper and lower parts uh, would put pressure on these two parts and if enough force is applied this would just jump off its place and uh, keeping the force to be transferred onto the servo. So basically what happens is if you hit a curb it would just go like this and, and uh, the servo saver would jump out of place. Let's see if we can have a look at it. I've also uh, put a washer under there to put more pressure on the part and uh, this one works really well uh, that's at least that's what I think sometimes it just pops in place again sometimes uh, it doesn't and you have to manually put it in place but at least uh, you still get the working servo so I think uh, yeah I think it works okay so that's what the steering looks like uh, I know there's a couple of people who have uh, asked how to put it together and um, yeah this is what it looks like and uh, yeah let's put it together so these are all the parts needed and this is what we put together in the last video I usually uh, check that this one is I've actually assembled this the wrong way a few times um, so the empty holes goes to the bottom this one is the top part this is the lower part and I actually print this with the uh, support um, so I mount the top part with these two. I use a M3 with a rounded head screw. So I put these together like that and then on to this little piece here and they need to move freely of course all right so when that's done it's time to put this in the front assembly like that so remember the already mounted screws goes upwards and the empty holes go downwards this little arm goes to left just put it in place and we for this one we use a countersunk m3 by 8 screw like that and put one on the bottom make sure they move 
freely all the parts. Let's see here. So the last thing to do is to connect the arms to the wheel hub. Like that, and the last one. All right. So when that's done, what we have to do is put it in our car. For that we need two more M3 by eight countersunk screws. No, 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 I'm wrong, sorry. We need the M3 by 12, I think it is, longer screws. And of course we need two M3 nuts. These are a bit tricky and maybe not the best, best design, but we'll have to live with it for now. Just put the nut in there. Put the first screw in. This is a bit tricky. All right. First one in place. Time for the other one. First, put the nut in its pocket. Like that. And it's time for the last screw. It's easier if you can put a finger on it. Tighten them. And yeah. We got some steering on our car. All right, so that's it for this video. If you have any questions uh, about the steering or the service saver, please don't hesitate to add a comment to this video and I will try to answer it best I can. Or you can just ask the questions in the uh, Facebook group or the Google Plus community. So that's it. And uh, I will follow up with a part five. See you there.